Hello there, Punch of Faces here. Welcome back to Record of August War. And we are over here at the Guy Desert. Um, it's on the opposite side of where I was over there, which is a little strange. I don't know why I can't enter it from either side, but um, just come out of the Groza Mountain Range in the top, and the Guy Desert will be right here. So that is always good. And then we're going to enter the Guy Desert, of course. And some events should happen, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and fight this stuff here. Oh, of course, we got caught off guard. Does not happen very often. That's ah, just one enemy. I haven't, unlike my other Record of August War uh, playthroughs that I've done, I've shown off the enemies every time we would get a new one. But uh, if you haven't noticed, I don't do that anymore. Because it's a little bit annoying. And after a while, it just starts to repeat the monsters, but, you know, just recolor them like any other typical RPG or anything like that. So we are going to use our special on this guy and kill him. I did not overkill him, which we are going to have to do. I mean, you know, we'll have our ultimate strike, so... Still don't know how to get the final or the finish strike or whatever. I really need to pay more attention to what I am doing. I'm just kind of blindly fighting enemies <laughs> to how to do this. But um, I will um, meet you at the event, wherever it is. Could be right after this, I don't know. BRB. And we're back. Yay, more items. There's an item here, and there's an item over here. But, went ahead and cleared it all out to save me some hassle later on. And we will go here. Hooray. More events. That's what we play this game for. If those soldiers you organize don't show up soon, uh, princess, we're deader than common courtesy, even though we can pretty much handle whatever anybody throws at us, so... Do not worry. I'm confident that Cirrus will come to our aid. Or try to kill us. Whatever. I'm sure that the enemy will reconsider their plans once they see the army mobilize. That'd be nice. Will you two be silent for a moment? Are they here? I think they are, but something's not right. Those footsteps definitely don't sound human. You did get in contact with them, right? Yes, without a doubt. I haven't received a report from the messenger they sent. And yet, only demons have arrived. That's... Why? I don't, I don't really want to say something like this. After considering the various circumstances up to now, I can only draw one conclusion. And that is Cirrus told the demons about this place. Cirrus is not someone who would do something so dishonorable. There must be some other reason. Hey look, there's a bunch of people coming out of that big building. They have absolutely, remarkably, genuinely awful timing. I'd say this, but I honestly don't believe we can trust him considering the circumstances. But... Perhaps it'd be best to leave conversations for later. Instead of dwelling on what happened, should we not be thinking of a way to escape 
As always, I am flabbergasted at how you, how our lovely queen can remain calm in the face of certain death. Well, that being the case, do we face the demons in front, at front, attack the bandits behind, or sit tight and wait for this, or wait for Cirrus? And we will, of course, face the demons. They'd probably be easier to take down than humans, I suppose. It's juicy, but if we can cut through them, we might be able to either turn on them or keep running for safety. Let's attack the demons. A last charge followed by an honorable death. Well, that's alright. I'm not against it. Yeah, I think that any choice we make will end the same way, and I'd rather go out killing demons, really. I think we should all have faith in Victoria. Everyone, thank you. It appears that the time for discussion has come to an end. Please let me lead the assault against the advanced guard. Here I go! Even though I have... Um, I have switched up my party, I don't know if you realize that. But yeah, that has happened. For reasons. Um, fighting with certain people brings up their like love towards you, their affection or whatever. Since I am currently behind on that. So, we will be doing this. But uh, I usually only use Wise as my main, like, attacker. For the most part. And then use her to kill everything else. And that should be good. Because her uh, special ability is really good. It hits, like, within, like, a 9x9 nine nine square. So that's always pretty good. So you can hit like all the enemies you want. Unless you're like really super far out of the way. Which which is sometimes the case. And I messed that up. Ah crap. Well. He's just going to annoy us a little bit further. And then we're going to completely destroy him. Ah. Okay, well, that changes things. That's a little bit more annoying. That guy probably would have showed up either way, even if we hadn't killed the other guy, or if we have had killed the other guy. But uh, we're going to attack this guy. Bring up our breaker, break. our burst point, whatever it's called. Uh, we should get it. There we go. And then use her ability to probably hit both of them. Yeah. And that should be good. I'm not even on this ultimate strike. That's just how confident I am in her ability. Ah, no more? Okay. Not an issue. And see how Janus and Ina have a heart by their faces in that battle? Um, it's like after every five fights or something, they have a... Uh, they you know, go up in affection or whatever, so. I don't know I don't know by what percentage, but it definitely goes up. There's no end to them. It's getting worse and worse. The Bennets are approaching from behind. Hey, thanks for the tip. That demon. I can feel something terrible radiating from it. That's... No, it can't be. A garvel? That's a garvel. I will deal with that demon myself. Everyone else, please take care of the others that are with it. Are you insane? It's too dangerous to face it alone. I'll go with.
Reinforcements, uh, reinforcements are coming just now? Wait, the demons look like they're totally caught off guard. Could it be... Princess! Sirius, don't you bullshit me! I know you're bad! Sirius, you've come! I apologize for making you wait. I'm glad you're here and all, but aren't you kind of hogging all of the glory? I wonder. All things considered, I think it's his timing couldn't have possibly been worse. Do not worry, those soldiers are under my command. What do you mean? There is no time to go into details now. I will explain everything once the demons have been expelled. I have my troop. Uh, I have my troop attacking from the rear. We will surround the demons and then crush them. We will deal with the demons we believe to be a garvel. Sirius, I'll leave the rest of the rabble up to you. Understood. Sirius, I got my eye on you, you son of a bitch. Wait, is this the same garvel from Record of Augur's War 1? I mean, I guess that could all possibly just kind of look the same, but... You degenerate humans, I will not allow you to get away with deceiving me. Don't think you'll escape me when you die. I will personally cast you into the flames of, and misery of hell. Well, it's a little rough. In fact, I will see, uh, see to it that you live so you can raise, so I can raise you as livestock to be fed as the goblins and orcs. Okay, so maybe Sirius, uh, pretending to be bad, gain their trust just to attack him. I mean, like, that's probably what happened. The flames of hell, huh? If eternal detonation will free me from all of this, if it release me from the torment of living while burdened with my sin, then I'll gladly give my life. But taking my life is beyond even your powers. What? You pathetic, miserable little worm. You're going to be the first to die. Well, I'm curious to see if you actually have the power to kill me. Come then. Well, why is a little bit of fool yourself? I mean, you have all reason to be. But if I was playing this a legitimate way, you'd probably die pretty easily. May die this time. I don't know. And of course, the Garvel has uh, enemies. He's probably going to go first. We will actually watch his attacks. I would usually, like, I'm doing things pretty differently from the way I did them in the last few playthroughs. I, if I saw a new move, new enemies, and stuff like that, um, I would show him off, but, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to show him off. Uh, if he does have a special move, I will show that off, though, because special moves are always, always kind of nifty. If um, he even gets the chance to show him off, because I'm probably going to obliterate him. With so much AP, I don't think it'd be out of the question. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, we're, we're super OP. Surprised we haven't gotten our burst point. There it is. We will actually watch her crying happiness. Because it is pretty cool, I guess. It's not the most fancy ones, it's all the bubbles and stuff, but it, you know. Looks like it would have hurt. We will continue to hit him. Just for talking to us like that. And maybe kill the other two in the back. No? Oh well. An intelligence up. And that guy screamed when he died. Harvest Teal, come on. I mean, they're gonna die anyways. So, you know. And they stay relatively close together, so... Oh, another guy. That just makes things a little bit easier, actually. And after he gets done poking me a little bit, um, we will destroy his face. We want the bull or... Uh, no, we want the goblin mage. Because we need to bring up our first point, whatever it is called. So we can do this and kill everybody. And I will not do ultimate strike. 
There we go. Okay, I thought I was spawn more guys. I hate when it does that, it's really annoying. It's like, oh, more guys? No, maybe? I don't know if it's like a random chance kind of thing. A lot of experience. And we will level up. And we will put more strength on him because he will become a powerhouse. Uh, more agility. Sure, why not? Um, let's give you... Let's give you a little more strength. She's more of a resistant, uh, resist character, I guess, but I don't even know what you are. I guess you're... St Ava will probably be with us throughout the rest of the game. If I would have to imagine. <sighs> serious. Still got my eye on you. Princess, are you injured? I am unharmed. More importantly, I will hear your explanation regarding all this, understood? Yes, I understand. Actually. Then this entire operation was to trick the Garvel, correct? Yep, okay. I understood it completely. Yes, he was devilishly cunning. We tried many times in the past to take him down, but... According to what little has been written, the Garvel are, are, are thought to be more intelligent than humans. Furthermore, their physical strength and magical abilities far outstrip that of humanity. We might have been able to take him if he were by himself, but with the sheer number of demons. So we thought to deceive it by uh, posting soldiers disguised as, as bandits at the fortress to stop the demon influx. So the, uh, so the reason you allowed the demons to proceed was to make them think you were obeying their commands. I originally planned on attacking them from behind once the siege of the castle began. Whatever words. The reason we couldn't contact you earlier was to maintain the illusion we were the demon's allies. I had thought that the king would realize my true intentions, however. So the Garvel turned back, as you weren't able to gain his trust. No matter how many goblins and orcs we slay, it's akin to cutting the tail off of a lizard. So you were trying to create the opportunity to cut the head off somehow. Yes, and so the or, yes, and so the princess. He used us, no, Victoria as bait. I think it was a sound plan, actually. People call me, goddammit. <sighs> Though everyone assisted in the battle. It seemed that the strength of is it, Juve was more than sufficient. If Victoria were to be captured by the enemy, we should be an or be an extremely valuable hostage or hostage. What the fuck am I saying? Words escape me all the time when I'm playing this video, this fucking video game. There's nothing more dangerous or foolish as to give a hostage to creatures like goblins and orcs. It'd be pointless as well if the true leader didn't come out of hiding. I sincerely apologize, but... Okay, I understand. It's a, it, you, trick, you trick them. Okay, you don't need to explain all of this to me. It is alright. I would gladly risk myself in such a role if it had saved our people. You have accomplished something very important here, Cirrus. You have my gratitude. You've done very well. Once again, thank you very much. I'm unworthy of such praise, my princess. Please, raise your head. Cirrus, I must leave. Please continue to serve the people and protect them in my stead. Yes. Please leave the defense of the, con uh, of the country to myself and the rest of the army. Wise, you have proven beyond my doubts to me your skills in battle. Although I do not entirely understand what is happening, I feel I can leave the princess in your care. Once again, I ask you to please watch after her. 
Yeah. Princess, please take care of yourself and try to stay out of harm's way. You too, Sirius. Okay. Well, now that's done. Wait, what's this over here? Get your demon. <laughs> okay. Trophies are always nice, I guess. Even though I don't really care too much about them. Um, we are actually going to go back to Seacart Castle or whatever the name of it is. Use our serum dust. Yes. Okay, I wish there was like a button I can map it to. I mean, we gotta go this way, don't we? Well, it's good that I have these stupid things. Even though, uh, they are quite expensive and don't last that long. But I'm assuming it does disappear if we were to get into a random battle. And it just takes that slot instead. That is pretty much what I'm guessing here. Because sometimes it goes away very fast, sometimes it stays for, you know, a little bit. I'm going to use one more. That is completely fine. Because uh, battles do take a while. I mean, I can't just run from the battles, but I'm not going to do that. That's just silly. Alright. And we will go back over... Is it down here? There. Which is closer? I guess... This right here is technically closer? Actually, if we would have just left um, from the Groza Mountains, it'd probably be faster. But who knows? I don't. But this is. Um, it does take a little bit to go to the stream disk and actually click on it. But overall, it will save us more time since battles usually take around like a minute or so. Just depends. Is that so? If that is what you had decided to do, then there is nothing more for me to say. Thank you, and please forgive my uh, forgive my selfishness. There is no need for you to apologize. You devoted your entire life to our country and its people, and for that you have my gratitude. There's no need for you to hang your head, so. I chose to live as I do by my own free will. Was it me, or was it like the text scrolling really slow for some reason? This game does have some loading issues, for whatever reason. Um, I consider it an honor and a privilege to be able to fight for my country and its people. But if I hadn't been raised to the throne and made king, you could have led a normal life. You have lived with the burden of being the daughter of the king, though you may not have realized it. That is not true. And now you have chosen to take on an even heavier burden. I do not know how much time is left to you, but I hope you will live your life to the fullest as a woman. I wish for this not as your king, but as your father. Father. I will try to do as you have wished. Now go to those who are waiting for you. Yes, I will take my leave now. Such irony. She is still bound by the tenants of the guardians, though we long since abandoned them. Sad stuff indeed. Do you need more time? No. I think I said everything to him that needed to be said. There is nothing now keeping me tied to the past. Is that so? I must thank you for not only... Oof. 
a questing to my selfish quest. I guess that's what that is. But also for accompanying me all the way here as well. No worries. We were just sort of tagging along. And there was no we uh, no way we were going to let you come all this way by yourself. Everyone, thank you. Considering how late it is, or late it is now, we should maybe think about staying here for the night, but... Having Victoria with us here might attract too much attention, and it's too late to go back to Fresburg. Let's just camp here for the night. We're close enough to the castle to be safe, and staying here beats wandering around in the dark. Alrighty then, let's set up for another fun night of camping under the stars. Wise, once you have finished uh, setting up, would you care to join me for a training session? And we have... Are we are actually going to turn her down. But you didn't see that coming. That you thought, hey, we'd go fight with her, but no, not turn down. Okay. Well, it'll help you take your mind off of things for a while if we do. Or if I do. Yes. Alright. I'll let you know as soon as I finish here. Yes, please. Even though I turned her down, but, you know, it's just how things go. <laughs> Are you alright? This is hardly worth worrying about. It's getting late. Let's call it a night. Okay. Were you able to forget about things for a little while? You seem to be able to read me like an open book. I find that strenuous activity lets me turn my er, yeah, turn my mind off for a while. It's an effective diversion. I meant nothing by it. I hope that I'm not causing you any undue trouble. Not at all. Sparring with you forces me to focus on the present instead of worrying about the future. If you're okay with this, then... It's my fault that you've all been dragged into this mess that I created. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be stabbing gods. I said this before, wise, but not your best decision in life, I would think. That's not the only reason why I say this. But if you need me to do something, do not hesitate to ask. What are you doing for me now is more than enough. I'm just happy to be training with you. Like I told you before, if I can help you bear a part of your burden, there was nothing more that I could ask for. As of late, I started thinking about how impossible it is for someone to live only for themselves. People gain strength and the will to live from having something or someone to protect them from harm. I've come to realize this after meeting everyone. Having you appear in my life was like discovering a precious treasure. I don't know what will happen in the future, but I hope that I can stay with you for as long as I can. This is the only thing that I would wish for now. I was convinced that I didn't have anything more to lose, but it turns out that I was wrong. I once again have something that I would gladly give my life to protect. All of you have given me a reason to live. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. It's just that. There's no need for you to say the rest. I'm happy just being here. Before, I could never imagine myself feeling like this. Knowing that I will be able to end my days as a woman and not as a soldier. That alone makes me happier than you can possibly imagine. Shall we head back now? Yeah. Let's get out of here. We should clean up before we re uh, we go rejoin the others. Oh, I forgot to bring a towel with me again. I didn't bring one with me today, either. What should we do, then? Um, do I smell sweaty? You're fine. 
Do you really think so? If you're that worried, why don't you go rinse off in the river nearby? That's what I was going to do. Eh? With you? No. Is that so? Why don't you go on ahead and clean up? I'll keep an eye out for demons until you're done. And that's how you... Thank you. Um... What is it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'll be right back. She wants the D. I don't know what's got her so flustered. I'd die of embarrassment if he ever found out what I was thinking just now. This is her book three. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to head back to Fresburg and then we will end things off there if all goes goes planned. Serum dust, hold in, hold in there, uh, damn it. I'm gonna use another one. It's just something I gotta do. Okay. You've done well, Serum Dust. I mean, it took us like there and back. It's pretty good. Not bad, I guess. Still probably one of the worst, like, monster repellents in any game ever. But whatever. What are you gonna do? Okay. So at this point in the game, you're gonna uh, going to want to have, um, 1 through 68 done on the commission list. I do not have one of these because I don't know how to do it. It is uh, Unleash a Black Hole. Use the com uh, combination technique Black Hole in Battle. Fiona and Ava should be capable of performing it. I don't think um, it matters too much if you don't have this. You, you just need fame at 125. So if you do everything else, um, attention veteran hunters, please hunt down two gigantes, three death stalkers, three girls. Okay. Well, we just need um, to like just just get the 69. That's, that's all you really need. The magic number. And you're also going to want to have um, all of the uh, get down here. Damn it. There's so many. All the way down. Probably could have gone up. But you want all of these complete. Um, oh, okay. Do this then. Okay. But you want all of these completes so you can go to the bathhouse. Oh, I got more stuff down here. Uh, okay. And. Okay. Do I have more? Okay. But you're going to want those. And then go over here to the public bath. I have messed this up already, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let me just back out and look at something real fast. Um, where is that? Stats. My affection levels. Um, I'm supposed to have uh, the cat lady, forget her name right now, Victoria and Ina, all with yellow faces and hearts. Um, I do not have Ina at heart level. Everybody else should be fine. But that, like I said, it shouldn't matter too much. But you're, what you're going to, want, going to want to do, if you have followed me, if you're using this for a guide, um, so I don't recommend it too much, but I probably will put your ending guide on this, so I have to explain some things. But you're going to want to go into, um, I believe it... Uh, with massage and oh, no 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 not massage getting my things mixed around here but I already did these you can do these uh, in any particular order that you want but go to public bath and these this is just to get all of the heroines at um, plus six affection and if you don't um, not a big issue, I guess. But you're going—you should have like six tokens when you enter the bathhouse. By this point, um, you should have uh, Ina or massage Ina three times. Save it before you do this. You're going to want to perfect 
every single one of these, which means getting um, the like yellow heart face at the bottom left of the corner. When you do this, save it, do it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But if you don't do that, it won't work or whatever. But I digress. Uh, you're gonna want to do Aina three times. You're going to want to do Feeling just once, and then uh, Victoria two times. The only one that I messed up on was Aina, so she will be at plus five by this point. But like I said, not too much of an issue. Um, doing this, I don't really think messes with the true ending and stuff. But if you want the best stats for your next character, you're going to want to have that done. So, so yep, that's uh, all I have to say for now. You're also going to want to have um, at least uh, quest number 63 done for this. So, But, as always, thank you so very much for watching, and... I will see you next time.